glorious night we've had in worship. Have you enjoyed the worship service? Have you enjoyed the worship of Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, King of kings of all nations to be, coming again as surely as the sun is going to rise in the east, so will he come again. Just as sure as there is a night, there is a day. And Christ, the crucified one, the begotten Son of God, the Prince of the Ages, is coming again. And before he comes, he'll have his church, the glorious church, not just a church. Because the broad way of religion tonight is the largest commercial enterprise in the world. Religion is big business. Big business. Religion is bigger than General Motors. There's many people that put on a religious look, a religious face, but they haven't found the way. They don't know the way. They know a way, but they don't know the way. They think they know the way. The Bible said they would be like that. The book of Proverbs said there is a way that seemeth right unto man. But the end of that way is death. Jesus said, broad is the way. So New York isn't the only place where there's a Broadway, is it? <laughs> New York doesn't lay claim to the only Broadway. There's a Broadway of religion. How broad is it? Entertain you? Make you feel good? Join you to a membership? Get you acquainted with a club? Put you in a category? Entertain you? Broadway, anything goes. Broad is the way. First he said, enter you in at the straight gate. Wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. I see. There's a way that seemeth right. But that leads to destruction. Right. And many there be which go in <coughs> therein. Uh, we, we, we're glad we found the way. Oh we can sing that song with truth Amen. in our hearts. Many songs people sing, they don't know what they're singing. They don't understand the songs they're singing. Many people speak of heaven, they don't know what they're really speaking of. Many people speak of going to heaven. I asked a person one time, I said, which heaven are you going to? They said, well, heaven. I said, the Bible describes a first heaven. It's biblical. What is that? Where is it? The Bible describes the third heaven. So if you're a mathematician, and God is, if there's a first and there's a third, there must be a second, because God counts accurately. So which heaven would they be going to? And which hell would they be encountering? Oh, he's going to hell. But which hell would he be going to? His own. Because the Bible said the sorrows of death <clears throat> the sorrows of hell have come past me about. The pains of death have got hold upon me. What hell is that? Then the Bible speaks of the lowest hell. Well, are there higher hells? There's a lowest hell. Is there a higher hell? Then the Bible said that but the way of life, Proverbs 15 and 24, is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. 
Jonah found himself in the belly of hell. Yeah. Okay. Was that under the earth? Hell no, that was in a belly of a whale. It was a great fish. So the Bible's interesting, isn't it? And if you really are seeking for truth, you'll keep on seeking until you find it. Um, if you feel like you have all truth, that's like a man that's not hungry. And the Bible said, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. So if you're not hungry, you couldn't eat very well, could you? Jesus said in John 5, is it 39 or 543? I don't think it's 43, but uh, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. And these are they which testify me. So if you search the scriptures, is it because that you may not know until you find the way? And then Jesus said in St. John 14, But I am the way, the truth, and the life. So when you find the way, you can find the truth. When you find the truth, you can find the life yes, that's eternal, everlasting. Yes. So God is a good God. Yes. I've enjoyed this worship. Yes. Yes. I've really enjoyed the preaching. Yes. I thought this former boxer over here, he got back in the ring tonight, didn't he? Well, he's in the ring. He really got into the ring. And I, uh, I really, I really appreciate him because he just really blessed us uh, all over tonight. And uh, I want to welcome Brother Tom. I met him back here, Thomas, from Gardner. God bless you, Brother Thomas. Right back here with Sister Brenda Palmer. We're very happy to have you. He's a Hoosier. He's a Hoosier. One of those, like I'm a cracker, he's a Hoosier. And, uh, we're, we're glad to have him. He's from Indiana and uh, up near Indianapolis, I think, somewhere around that area. And we're glad to have Brother Thomas wanting to feel at home and be that way. And then we have Adonna Brown from Christian Heritage Church in Auburndale tonight. Where's Donna back here? Right here, Donna. Welcome. We're glad to have you. And uh, very thankful that you're here and service with us. So I wanted to give you these scriptures, and then I wanted to welcome uh, Sister Rostita. Uh, I, she is uh, sitting in the back. Rostita, hold your hand up back here. Right here. Now, you're not acquainted with her, but I am. I met her yesterday afternoon, and uh, we uh, talk together, a minister I know in the city, here, known for many years, David Walker, came by and he said, Brother Marlowe, this fine young woman, a nurse by profession, doesn't have a place to stay. And uh, I know that you try to help God's people, family of God. So I searched and thought, my goodness, I've got every room here full. I've got every place on these grounds full. I don't have a place. But then I began to pray and talk to Christina. And uh, the more I talked to her, her family, which comes from a Muslim religion, background, but she's a Christian. Christina is a Christian. Praise the name of the Lord. Nurse by profession, 30 years of age, never been married, um, and uh, I talked with her quite a bit and could see that she'd been through some rough places in her life, and I made a decision to try to help her. So I thought about one little corner I hadn't occupied yet. And, uh, Matthews has his trailer on the grounds. 
Stewart. So I found Brother Stewart and said they couldn't get a hold of Matthew, but Brother Stewart. I think we could place her there and let her have a home for a few days. Let her find a church. Let her hear us, see us, get around us. And maybe her life could be changed. And she can find the direction God wants her to go. <coughs> well, I want you to welcome here tonight. And I, I want you to be at home with us, Christina. And I, I want us to get acquainted with you. She's got a job interview with Doctor's Hospital Monday. And let's pray that she can get that job. And I welcome people like this. What is the church about? What is the church for? When she met me out there, I was tired. Everybody was gone. All the staff had dismissed themselves. I, I thought... Now, the easiest thing would be for me to go over there and sit down. When I got home, Mr. Marlowe can tell you I was exhausted. But I said, I couldn't have run a sheep. But maybe God. Do you believe that God has a purpose for everything? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A purpose in a whirlwind? Yes, Somebody puts their hands out for you. Yes, they That's do. it. They do. Somebody yes, reached out for you. Yes, sir, brother. And I said, well... Let's just do it. Let's just give this young woman a chance. Because I want you to feel the love of God tonight. And I believe in you. And you're not a stranger here now. Service starts at 2 o'clock tomorrow. And uh, Astrid, you come in to have Bible teaching. She loves the Bible. I noticed her Bible was open. I went into the trailer, looked while she was out walking. And uh, she uh, had her Bible, reading it, studying it. So I want her to be welcomed at home with us, get acquainted with her, and uh, we'll pray that God will have his way in leading her, guiding her. She has family They're scattered here and there, but she's come through some rough parts of the journey of life. But I think some of us have too, so you're not different than we are. I think um, some of us have come through some extremely hard places. But Jesus Christ made the difference. The cross made the difference. And I was so thrilled tonight when Sister Iris came and gave her life anew to Christ. Holy Ghost came in. Yes, yes. And she said, Brother Marlowe, pray that I'll be healed in my body. Yes. Mr. Nadi came with her. Pray that she'll be healed in her body. But pray that she'll be healed in her soul. Yes. The Holy Ghost touched her in her body tonight. Touched her in her soul. Yes. And Iris, come home. Amen. Yes. You have come home. It takes a lot of great grace. In the old time Southern people used to say, gumption. gumption. That's right. It takes a lot of desire to serve the Lord, yes. to come to the church. And I noticed these young men with you. Now, who are they? That's your, part of your family? That's your son. Son? Son? My goodness. That's your son sitting right beside you. Grandson. 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 Oh, Roses. Roses. I, I see. Your grandma. Praise the name of the Lord. I can't hardly think of you being a grandma. I'm so glad these boys are here tonight. Amen. Don't we love young people? Amen. The strength of the That's all I'm going to say. The hour is getting late, and we're finished. We've got a great day ahead of us tomorrow. I welcome Brother Johnny home. And uh, I can feel like he's grown son since he was here. And God loves you, Johnny. We love you. Come home. Be a man of God. Walk in God. Do his will. And the Lord will bless you.
And uh, let's pray for one another. Get ready for a great day tomorrow. Uh, for you that uh, will pull the morning service at 1030, be here and uphold Brother Farias, the elders, and lift up the service at 1030. And anyone can come and you make a choice. You'll be led by the Holy Ghost. If you're attending a morning service, we'll be in two places. Some will be here at 1030. Some will be over in Palmetto at Deliverance Church, uh, 414 7th Street West, right near the Wachovia Bank. And uh, we'll be there ministering. And the folks there are beginning to fellowship us. They'll be back over here with us. That church will be. And I was over a couple of Sundays ago, met the pastor, had a wonderful, wonderful welcome. They've invited me to deliver the message in the morning. So I'm going to go and do what I can. And you that can stand the whole day journey of church, if you can't, don't miss the two o'clock service. You just can't do it, it's too much. Uh, well then, I'll be here at two o'clock. You don't be there and then dismiss yourself at two. Our main, uh, all the church comes together at two o'clock. We've had a wonderful night, wonderful time in the Lord. And let's get acquainted with one another all over again. And uh, give the Lord a praise. Uh if you plan to ride the bus to this church in the morning, the, the bus is leaving promptly at 10.30. So if you're not here at 10.30, you'll miss it, the bus. It'll be gone. You can then, ride the bus that's going over if you're here at 10.30. And uh, if you don't get the address, and it's not hard to find, first traffic light after you leave the, uh, second traffic light, caution light after you leave the bridge going north on 41, turn left, go down a couple of blocks, and you'll see it on your right. Brother Marlowe, yes. the church is also fixing a, a, a dinner or lunch for everybody there, okay? Yeah, those that are coming from the church here, they're fixing a dinner over there for us. And so we'll uh, be blessed to the Lord with that. All right, got a great day tomorrow, a long day. I'll be tired by the time I see Lily at night. Now, Lily is not my, uh, I don't have a second wife over there. <laughs> Lily is my dog. So tomorrow is my wife, and Lily is our dog over there. By the time our baby. So by the time we get home tomorrow night, we'll be tired. But it'll be a good tired feeling. You ever been tired and felt good? Yeah. You serve the Lord, you go for the Lord, you do his work. You stay in church overtime, God pays you time and a half. You feel good about it. All right, God bless. Uh, uh, remember one more time, I'll announce this, and this is it. Brother Stephen and Diane uh, Rosellis, Brother Stephen Roller. Their wedding is coming up July the 2nd at 10 a.m. here in the sanctuary. Continue to pray for them. Turn to your neighbor right now. Brother Bill Schultz got his hand up. <coughs> I can't hear a word you're saying, Pastor. All right, yeah, thank you. Uh, you'll have to speak. It's nearly 80 feet back there. So let go about it. God bless you. First, praise the Lord. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Jesus, the living Savior, the living Lord. Now, turn to your neighbor right beside you and say, God bless you, neighbor. Get their hands, speak to them. And Brother Tom, come back and see him. You are welcome here. Praise the Lord. Everybody say something to somebody before you leave. Amen. Amen.